Well, the good alone is returning. The good alone, yeah. We have now three different alones. We have the original alone, which is basically usually in Canada or somewhere like that. We have the alone United Kingdom for a season that I've watched. And, you know, it's, it, it's kind of getting there, but there were a lot of rough edges. And then we have Australia, Alone Australia, second season, and it's got a lot of rough edges. <laughs> At least this time, they appear to have let people on the show that have some experience, and they get to have a bow and arrow. They're in New Zealand, southern New Zealand. So uh, the hunting restrictions, I guess, are different. They were in Tasmania before, and it basically was, you know, you you just couldn't, you could have set a snare because you might catch a, per, you know, a protected animal. You couldn't leave a fish line unattended because you might catch a, a protected fish. And it went on and on like that. So that, and even the thing you could catch, I forget if it was a wallaby or whatever it was, you had to hit him with a club. You couldn't devise a trap or something. You had to hit him with a club. So, uh, so anyway, alone. Uh, starting June 13th, that's a Thursday night at 9 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Uh, History Channel, but if you don't have access to the History Channel, I try uh, downloading the History app and see if you can get it that way. Uh, and I think depending on where you are, it does or doesn't tie into a cable subscription. But, you know, I try if you're going to go on, on the app. Try it first without having, you know, mentioning your cable or lack of cable and see what happens. And then you can go back and, you know, go through the rigmarole. But uh, it should be interesting. There, I guess they're going to be 150 miles into the Arctic Circle. So I assume with this, uh, I could be wrong though, but I would assume that we're going to have a longer period in extremely cold weather. You know, most of the other alones have been timed more or less to... Uh, go, you know, to somewhere to 50, you know, 75 days or whatever when things really start getting nasty as far as weather. And, you know, people have hit the point where they're really deprived of food. You know, they're losing over a pound a day in weight. And uh, uh, so it'll be interesting to see this. Now, last season of Alone, and this was a brilliant strategy. It worked. You know, uh, the guy basically... Uh, planned to starve. <laughs> One thing he didn't do, and he planned to, to not do much work. He never treated water. He never boiled the water. So he didn't cut out that all that stuff about the firewood. He didn't have firewood to heat his uh, shelter. He just went, I think he went for an extremely warm setup. I know one of the previous contestants on one of the shows I liked his philosophy about having a really good sleeping bag and a really good cover. So that meant no matter what kind of mess he got into, how wet he got or anything at night, he could get, go into a clean, dry environment and sleep. So, but then the guy, you know, he knows when people are starting to tap out, you know, you know, you can tell the weather's getting bad and everything. So at one point he just hunkered down and said, I'm going to stay in my bed, in my sleeping bag the whole time. And, and he won. <laughs> so it was a good strategy. He won. It's like, this is a game. It isn't survival. You know people are coming for you eventually. They're doing these health checks. You've got uh, uh, one of these uh, sat phones with you so you can tap out at a moment's notice. And uh, so it is more of a game than actual real survival. But having these survival skills and bushcraft skills you know, like hunting and different things like that, definitely going to increase your odds. Now, the U.S. one, uh, you could win uh, $500,000. The U.K. one was 250000 I believe. But then the Australia one, I think, was the first season was only 100000 I forget if the, the second season went up a little or not. I'm not sure, but... Uh, so, it, it will be interesting, and... You know, it would be nice if they could get out around somehow of this issue of uh, whoever can go the longest without food wins. Uh, 
you know, if they could, I don't know how they could do that, because obviously the last person is the last person, no matter what he chooses as a technique to get there. But it would be interesting if somehow uh, they were in a season that, and somehow there's a point system or something, I don't know. But then everyone would argue about that. But, you know, there was a period where I think a lot of people were was alone, you know, the, the regular version. Just kind of get tired of it, watching people starve. Every show was about, oh, now my teeth are getting loose, my belt. You know, I get a, I've i made my eighth hole, extra hole in my belt. Or, you know, going through all these contortions. And basically, the person who you could say disrespected their body the most, one. You know, and the other people who were noticing changes in their body they didn't like, uh, you know, left. And I know there was one season where they have, some of the seasons they would have a recap show. And there's one woman who, it took her nine months to recover from being on alone. That's a long time. There was another, this was on one of the other shows. You know, that Foolish Naked and Alive show, Naked and Afraid show. I stopped watching that years ago. But in one of those, uh, a woman got, you know, super athletic woman into all these competitions, she gets, she's the one, there's other people there, that gets bit by this one, you know, flea or insect or whatever. She contracts this horrible disease. And, you know, the show follow-up is showing her using a walker because she can't walk without it now. So he, she went from this super dynamic, you know, competitor woman to having trouble getting from the, the, uh, kitchen to the living room. So a lot of things can happen when you're out in the wilderness, I'll tell you. So we'll we'll do some videos as it's going along and talk about some of the issues. It's interesting to see the points of view that people have in the comments and different things like that. So we'll uh, kibitz right along. And uh, I have, I think I mentioned on Daily Motion, I've started watching the second season of Alone and uh, on in Australia and it's it's humorous let me put it that way it, it doesn't seem too serious it seems humorous to me bye